Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel Travel and Jobs. Hope you are doing well. The New Zealand government has announced the details of the new uncapped, six-point system for the Skilled Migrant Category Resident Visa SMC. The changes aim to simplify the visa process for skilled migrants, ultimately offering a more straightforward pathway to residency for those who meet specific criteria. From October 2023, the new SMC system will replace the current settings, offering a clear skills threshold and a variety of options for applicants to meet the six-point criteria. In this video, I will tell you everything you need to know about the new Visa SMC application, the new points calculator, the eligibility requirements, how many points you need to be selected and how can you increase your point score to at least 160 or even 180. But before we begin, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell icon to always be notified when we publish new updates. What is a Skilled Migrant Category Resident Visa? The SMC Visa is a direct-to-residence pathway for the highest skilled people in each category, including migrants holding a professional registration requiring at least six years. Formal training and or work experience, people with a doctorate, or people earning at least three times the median wage. Do you meet the minimum requirements of the Skilled Migrant Policy? To qualify for a resident visa under the Skilled Migrant Policy, you must meet all of the following minimum requirements. 1. You must be under the age limit of 56 years. 2. You must be of good character. 3. You must have an acceptable standard of health. 4. You must have proven English language capabilities. 5. You must reach a minimum point score of 100. How many points you will really need for your expression of interest to be successful? The growing worldwide interest in immigration to New Zealand exceeds New Zealand's capacities for accepting migrants by far and the competition among skilled migrants is strong. On the 9th of November 2022 Immigration New Zealand selected all EOIs at the threshold of 160 points. The first selection of EOIs in 2023 took place on the 18th of January. To better align with the future direction of the skilled migrant category, the points threshold for future selections will increase to 180 points. How points are allocated? Offer of skilled employment or current skilled employment in New Zealand earns 50 points. Bonus points for offer of skilled employment or skilled employment. 1. In an area of absolute skills shortage plus 10 points. 2. In a region outside of Auckland plus 30 points. 3. Partner skilled employment or offer of skilled employment in New Zealand plus 20 points. 4. High remuneration plus 20 points. Points for skilled work experience. 1. 2 years, 10 points. 2. 4 years, 20 points. 3. 6 years, 30 points. 4. 8 years, 40 points. 5. 10 years or more, 50 points. 6. One year or more of work experience gained in New Zealand plus 10 points. 7. Two to five years of work experience in an area of absolute skills shortage plus 10 points. 8. Six years or more of work experience in an area of absolute skills shortage plus 15 points. Points for recognized qualifications. 1. Level 3 qualification, if included in the list of qualifications exempt from assessment, 40 points. 2. Level 4 6 qualification 40 points. 3. Level 7 8 qualification 50 points. 4. Level 9 10 qualification 70 points. 5. Two years of full time study in New Zealand completing a recognized New Zealand bachelor degree, level 7, plus 10 points. 6. One year of full-time study in New Zealand completing a recognized postgraduate New Zealand qualification plus 10 points. 7. Two years of full-time study in New Zealand completing a recognized postgraduate New Zealand qualification plus 15 points. 8. Partners level 7-8 qualification plus 10 points. 9. Partners level 9-10 qualification plus 20 points. Points for age. 20 39 years 30 points 40 44 years 20 points 45 49 years 10 points and 50 55 years 5 points do you reach the minimum point score of 100 that is a good start if you score 100 points or more and meet health character language and age requirements 
you may submit your expression of interest EOI, and may theoretically be eligible to apply for a resident visa under the skilled migrant category. However, a point score of 100 will no longer be sufficient for your expression of interest to be selected. How can you increase your point score to at least 160 or even 180? By far the best way to increase your point score for your EOI is by claiming points for an offer of skilled employment or current skilled employment in New Zealand. You can claim 50,110 points if you have a job offer in New Zealand. As we have shown, the majority of successful EOIs were claiming points for a job offer in New Zealand. A job in New Zealand will be one of the most powerful tools for the success of your residence process. 1. An offer of skilled employment will entitle you to 50 points. 1. This could already lift you over the 160 points threshold for your EOE. 2. If your job is located outside of Auckland, in an area of absolute skill shortage and or providing a high salary, you can claim up to 60 additional points. 3. A skilled job in New Zealand will entitle you to up to 110 points in addition to your points for your qualification and skilled work experience, with a potential of 20 additional points if your partner has a job too. How long will it take to process my SMC application? New Zealand immigration state that straightforward applications that present all the required information and documentation will take approximately 6-8 weeks. This is all we prepared for you in this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon to always be notified when we publish new updates. We will see you in our next video.